Hi guys, I'm back today with another video and this video is going to be a review and just overall product. I kind of like, like it, I guess it would be called a product rave even though I've only used it once. And I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal Paris The Feria Wild Ombre and I wanted to try this only because I'm the type of person that likes to always do something to my hair. Um, I just, I like to switch it up, I like to change it, and because I'm in the process of growing out my hair and it's killing me because I always like to cut it and trim it and do something with it and right now I'm just trying to get it to a specific length and I just, uh, it just bothers me to just have it like plain old brown. So um, when I saw this on TV, the commercial, I was like, ooh, I want to try that. And I had ombre hair before. I want to say I had ombre hair, but professionally done at the salon maybe like six months ago, if not a little bit longer. And then I ended up dyeing it and then dyeing it and dyeing it. And then I saw this and then I was like, ooh, I want to, I want to do it again, the ombre. So. Um, this is just really convenient and inexpensive. I think I paid $13 at CVS, but then I had a 20% off coupon, so it was a little bit less. But for $13 to do ombre, I think it's way better than I think I spent $100 at the salon. Um, so um, this, I picked up the one that's for medium to dark brown hair. And it's basically bleach in a box. Um, it's just it's just measured out to how much you need, obviously, and it comes with a great brush, which I threw away, darn it, because I wanted to show you guys, but I threw this brush away, and it just makes it really convenient because you just, what I did was I literally just took my hair in half like this, and I just kind of pulled from the back and just started brushing all the way to the front, and because I already had done ombre before and so my hair already had somewhat of bleach in it but then I dyed it I didn't know how it was going to come out and um before I did this I dyed my hair like a merlot red and so I thought oh my gosh you know is it good I, you know I just didn't know what it was going to come out like but as you can see here I I didn't curl my hair or anything just so that you guys could see like the actual trueness of the ombre um, and actually like it. It is a, it's kind of like a rusty, <laughs> you know when you have red hair and it fades and it fades and it fades and it come, becomes like a rusty coppery color? <laughs> That's what it looks like but I kind of like it in a weird way. Um, it just, I don't know, I think it just works. And I didn't do it perfectly. And that's what I like about this too, is that I don't, you don't have to do it perfectly. Like for the front parts of my hair, I just wanted barely the tips of it. You know, just, I didn't want to bring it too high up. And then, you know, as I got to the back part of my hair, I wanted darkness back here. And yet maybe just a little bit of the lightness down at the tips. So I really, like this because you could do whatever you want. It's not necessarily ombre because if you know you could really bring it up top and just kind of do highlights all the way down if you wanted to. Um, so it's just it's just a do whatever you want kind of dye. I mean bleach. You know, really, it's just bleach. And well, okay. So I did this just on the ends. And it says you can only leave it up, up to 45 minutes. 25 minutes, check it. And then if you want it to, you know, lighten up a little bit more, leave it on for 45 minutes max. So what I did was I left this on for 25 minutes and then I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go the full, full 45. So about 30 minutes, about 20, yeah, I guess 25 minutes in, after I checked it, <laughs> I brought in this Natural Instincts and I just got the 10 minute ammonia free darkest brown color from Clairol and 
Um, what I did was I just did the top of my hair. So the bleach was all down here and I had, you know, the, this, the ombre one <laughs> I had put and I had it all down here. And then I got this one and I just kind of put it all on the top and I didn't care if it went over the bleach a little bit because it just, I wanted it to look like not perfect, you know, as this box shows. You can see that it's just like, you know, it looks like it just someone just died straight like that. And I didn't like that. I kind of wanted it to look like, you know, jaggedy a little bit and as if it was messed up on purpose, you know, and anyways, so I put the dark brown in and I just put it all over the the back of my hair and I kind of brought it to right where the bleach was and if not maybe even touched some of the pieces with the darkness and um, it just made it my dark part obviously darker and then it just made it stand out more so that's why I think the brassiness stands out and I just, I love the way it came out and it was inexpensive. I think I paid $20 total for both of these and um, I would totally do it again um, as, as this starts to fade or I don't know, maybe if I do it again later because my poor hair, um, it may, might turn a little bit more blonde and you know i would definitely do this dark again but it it just really was convenient if you want to do something to your hair but you're afraid i mean it is bleach and you are <laughs> technically ruining your hair you know and but if you just want to try it even if you just you know put in a little strand to test your test it and see if you like it um this is definitely something that you know is so easy and pretty much foolproof, like you could do whatever you wanted. I mean, I was even thinking of just doing some, you know, just in the front, you know, and I kind of like that because it, that brush just makes it very convenient too, you know, it just, you don't have to, I don't know, I just, it just is really easy and I actually enjoyed dyeing my hair. Now, as far as damage goes, my hair doesn't feel like hay and straw-like, but I mean, you could tell that there's a little bit of damage and I'm just gonna have to probably do like a deep ma a mask, a hair, deep hair mask, or, you know, just maybe really concentrate on the ends, only because it is bleach and you just wanna you know, you don't want them to, f I hate when my hair feels like straw, like hay, and it's not that bad. Like I've done worse damage to my hair, but it, it just, you can tell that there, there's been a little bit of damage and I just now need to focus and concentrate on repairing my ends, but nothing crazy, nothing to where like, oh my gosh, I've broken my hair's, you know, it's breaking at the ends, no. No damage like that whatsoever. I'm sure if I did this again, like, Today, I just did this, what, a couple of days ago, maybe like two days ago, a day, two days ago. Then, and I did it again, I could see me damaging my hair totally. But I'm gonna wait and see what happens. And if I end up doing it again, I'm probably not gonna do it for like another six, eight, maybe two, maybe about another two months, three months, depending, knowing me, I'll probably be in some other, I wanna go black. I, or, you know, I, I was contemplating on doing this or going like black. I I always like the way my hair looks when it's black. And it, um, like I said, it was between this and black and I chose this. So who knows, in two months I might be in black, all you know, black hair or whatever. But I just, I like the convenience of it. And I think that if you're wanting to do something funky to your hair, but you just don't want to pay the salon prices, then I'd say give this a try, you know, and see how you like it. I think it's worth it. I mean, I would definitely do it again. And I'm really liking my hair and I only, I spent less than $20. So, um, you know, if you're 
in the market for ombre hair. I, I would try it and it's fun and I'm enjoying it for this moment. And I just wanted to sh share my opinions and thoughts on this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.